job done in the FA Cup because they're never quite as easy as some people think they're going to be when you're playing a side a couple of levels below yourselves. No, I said after the game, I think that was, um, I think looking down the coupon list, I think I think people see it as a, as a massive banana skin and potential upset. Um, it's a credit to the players, really. Um, difficult circumstances. Um, don't think we were caught at it first half, but I think second half we, li we lifted the tempo and um, I think I think the, the level showed then. I thought Ashton give a good account of themselves and they're doing well this year, so it was always going to be tough. Um, but once we started to perform closer to where we should be, I think I think we um, we did enough to win the game. Yeah, you did step it up after the break. Yeah, definitely. I think the players uh, took accountability as well, where, where we were. I think there's no point um, being two levels above and, and trying to tie these teams down if you're not playing at the right tempo. And I think we did that second half and, and it's amazing that things start to happen, gaps start to open up and, and I thought the quality showed for it. Good to see Ashley Hemmings back amongst the goals. Definitely. I think for Ashley in particular, I think he's... Um, I think it's been spoken about a bit this week, um, straight after the game. Look, he hasn't quite hit the levels he wants to hit this year so far. Uh, but he's got to learn from last year as well, this, this was the case. And then he showed resilience um, and showed good character to, to turn it around and finish the season off strong. And, and look, he's, uh, he's got his two goals on Saturday and hopefully he can build on that now. Defensively, you've been pretty good throughout the season, to be fair, but the clean sheets are starting to stack up now, aren't they? Yeah, look, it gives you a base to build on, doesn't it? And it's, it's, I say it all the time, it's not just a bat for and goalkeeper thing. It comes through the whole team. Um, we know our jobs without the ball, um, we fully respect what, what our roles are and responsibilities and we know how important it is that we do that side of um, our game all the time. Um, I think the other side, uh, not scoring enough goals, has been highlighted time and time and time again. Um, and the easy thing is to switch off and just only focus on that, but no, it's important that we, we stay solid, we stay, stay resilient and we give ourselves a chance to win games even when we're not quite, uh, not quite firing at the other end of the pitch. I know it's the old adage of one game at a time, as they always say, but um, the draw, um, as you play the side two levels below you against Ashton, it's a side two levels above you now, Fleetwood. Yeah, we put it to bed, look after that, until because we've got a massive run of games coming in the league now, but obviously the question's been asked, it's, it's, it's a home tie, that's all I will say. It's the first thing you look for in any, any cup draw, and it's against a team in, in, in League One. Um, it's going to be a great challenge when it comes round, but before that we've got we've got massive games coming up. Yeah, you have got, uh, I mean, never going to be an easy run in this league, are they really? We've got, you know, the next three games look tough. Yeah, look, every game you look, you don't look past the next one really. Um, every every team say all the time, every team offers their own challenges, and uh, we're going against uh, probably the most stubborn team defensively in the league on Saturday. Um, who had a disappointing result themselves on Saturday, and they'll be looking to bounce back. Uh, got good players who have played in the league for a long time again. Um, it's a massive challenge again, but one we'll, we'll look to look to relish. Yeah, obviously, uh, as you say, they're defensively uh, pretty solid in Halifax. So what else do you see as them as an attacking threat? How do you see that? Yeah, well, they've, got, they've got good players throughout the team, first and foremost. Changes in shape. Um, and like you said, they're a wounded animal at the minute because they've just, just had a disappointing result in the cup themselves. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, they'll be wanting to put that right. Um, and it's important that we match, match their levels, their intensity at the start of the game. Um, and keep building on what we've done as well, really. I think that's what we've, we've, we've done over the last three games. I'm not saying we've been vintage by any means. Um, but we've recognised what we do well and what's, what gives us success and, and we, we, we start with that first and foremost, we focus on ourselves. Well, if to use your expression, you're not vintage at the moment, you're grinding out results and that's the next best thing. Yeah, it's character, it's um, it's it's an awareness of where we are really as a group. Um, i said already, we've learned a hell of a lot of, about the level in the first in the first 15, 16 games. Um, you have to learn from it and you have to, and you have to build on it and you, you have to know what it, what it takes to win games at this level. Um, what I will say is we're winning three games at, at any level, whether it be in any competition, is it's a good achievement. But the first thing is how do we get them three wins? What have we done in, in the past games and how do we make it four? Um, and I think the players are really aware of, of what we have to do now to, to have a chance of picking up a result in this division. What's the update on the injury situation? Yeah, look, we've had uh, probably had a couple of setbacks this week and we've had a couple of other lads where they've, where they've, they've excelled where they are. A um, bit of a mixed bag. Um, I mean, the first thing to comment on is, is the fact we had Reese McNally back last week, come in and played 19, massive credit to him and his professionalism and how he keeps his fitness away from when he's when he's not at fitness. Um, he shows we're doing it right in the treatment room from that side of things to come through 90 is a fa uh, massive boost for us. Matty Preston's a lot closer as well. Um, that night Percival's probably had a little setback, um, so he's not he's not quite going to be there. Uh, and then the other lads are still being assessed. So look, Shane Burns been away this week at, um, at St George's Park. So hopefully we'll, we'll get good news come the end of the week on him. Um, and he, he's a lot closer than he was, but we're still looking probably at still at least a month away. So um, yeah, that's probably it. Shane going to St George's Park is that because he gets some specialist treatment? Yeah, you get it. You get it. Obviously a PFA member, you get, you get it offered here, so you get a week week where you can go there, get a different a different look on things, a different environment, um, a lot more intense with regards to your one on one with a physio. I had it myself when I was a player, and I found it really beneficial. Um, 
it's something that's on, on offer to all, all PFA members and it's it's a, it's a great thing to have in your locker, especially when you've had a long-term injury, so you can come back refreshed and, and come back to, to your own environment. Being around different people for a week is massive mentally as well. Some of those you mentioned you know, are close now. Are, are any of them likely to make it for the weekend? Um, like I say, Reese, Reese is the bigger one coming back into it. The others probably, maybe not for the weekend, but look, in the next run of games, we'll hope to have a couple of them back. And you have been looking to add to the squad in recent weeks. I mean, you could argue now having a good run of results, maybe it's not so important, but are you still looking? Yeah, still looking. Like it's, it's difficult, it's frustrating, it's difficult, and I'll say the same. And it's, it's not always what supporters and people around the club want to hear, but they have to be the right people. They have to be the right people. I think it's important that we, we learn from the past. Um, we don't bring players in to, to make up the numbers. They have to make us better and they have to fit the group, and we will continue to try and, try and bring their players in. Are you likely to have anybody in before the weekend? Again, Trevor, hopefully. Hopefully, uh, but we'll see. But again, we go back to the same thing. They have to be the right players. and It is frustrating, but it's not through want of trying.